comes under one rule. Repelling Green Wart and his kind back to the putrid swamps from whence they came. Crops prospered, families flourished, and the magnificent Crimson Keep climbed ever higher toward the sky. But as time passed, King Redis the Savior grew old, and the kingdom vulnerable once more. His people grew anxious, some claiming to perceive a faint odor in the air. Greenwart had returned with a ferocious vengeance, amassing an army of unfathomable scale. He burned everything in his path towards the Crimson Keep. He had little hope wielding a sword, so it was decided the crown should pass to Whiskers new. Arise, young prince, for the kingdom needs a hero. And so, your tale begins. When his squire woke him with this god-awful noise, the young prince was dreaming about this day, just like he had for months. Now it was here, he better be ready. If he'd known how unlike a dream today would be, he might have stayed in his bed.
All the prince had ever wanted was to prove worthy of his father's crown. He might be the smallest brother, but if he was prepared, he thought he had some small chance. Reggie's brother, the chef, offered a fine menu, but after Dennis had eaten, there was no food left. Chef would need new supplies from the cellar if Reggie wanted a decent breakfast.
The bard had found the last of the summer raspberries in the bare basement. The bard was quick to offer one, even though they weren't his. He had the ingredients. His brother, the chef, would make you a feast fit for kings. Or so he says. Reggie only ever gets his brother Dennis's leftovers, so he wouldn't know.
His brother, the smith, could forge armor and weapons to see off any enemy. He'd make some for Reggie, if the young prince could find blueprints for a rat of his stature.
His eldest brother didn't think Reggie could hit a target, even if it was standing still. But Reggie had been training hard. Freshly squeezed bug juice. Drink of champions. Nothing better after a long fight. The training dummy's red attacks were too strong to block. It was fast. Reggie could be faster. Not even Reggie could dodge the dummy's yellow attacks. His only hope was to parry with his trusty shield. The dummy's final attack shook the ground. Reggie would need to dodge to remain unscathed. Thank you. 